How lovely to meet you. Take a seat. Oh, <laughs> it started already. Yes. That's an amazing outfit. Thank you. Thank you. Now this is this is for the sleaze ball. Uh huh. How many people are expected at the sleaze ball? Oh, oh eighteen thousand people. We yes, just said that, haven't we? That, yeah. yeah. And and <laughs> why and I have believe. never been to a sleaze ball. No. 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 no one made it. Yeah. And some friends of yours, mm -hmm. some people from your agency are here. Yes, yes. So let's take a look at some of the frocks, and maybe you can talk us through it. Great. Great. First up, we have, uh, who's coming up first? Varushka. And what's Varushka wearing? Varushka is the, the house model for the store Drag Bag. And uh, everything she's wearing there is available at Drag Bag. That's an Oxford store. And she's wearing what most people will be wearing to sleaze ball, something to show off and, and celebrate their sexuality. It is a very sexual thing, isn't it? Yes. I think um, a lot of people have taken it the wrong way, though. With the sleeves, it's, it's a celebration of our sexuality. It doesn't mean that we're all there having sex or anything no, like that. No, no. no, So this comes from, from where? Drag Bag. In Sydney? Which is in, in Oxford Street, Sydney, and they specialise in this sort of drag apparel. Right, now Everything. drag, is drag, it's particularly big in Sydney. Mm -hmm. How about around the rest of the country? Almost oh, definitely. It's taken off in a huge way right across the country. With drag and management, we've got bookings right throughout the mainstream across Australia. And this is, this is Maud Boat. Now Maud is probably one of Sydney's most talented entertainers because she's one of the few that makes all her own costumes as well as perform. So she's, she's made this? Everything that she's wearing from head to toe. She would spend probably two days working on and makes it all look out. And how much, how much would an outfit like that cost, do you think? Well, for people like Maud, because most of it, well, all of it, she makes herself, um, they make it from, like, anything from $50 to $250. Right. And what about a costume like yours? This is probably, a, you're looking at around $2,000. Wow. This is about a month's work. You didn't make this yourself? No, 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 a friend of mine made it for me. It's a real commitment, isn't it? Yes, of course, most definitely. And next, next I think we have... Oh, muffin. This is muffin, yes. Yeah. I mean, what a lot of drag queens like to do at sleaze ball is be noticed. Absolutely. Well, yeah. you couldn't help but be noticed, yes, could you? Yeah. Muffin Works is one of the one of the performers on drag and management books, and performs around Sydney and Melbourne. Right, and this is sort of inspired by the Opera House, this idea. Yes, it's a little bit of a, a sleaze Opera House look, sort of. Minus a few bits and pieces. Now this is obviously not homemade, this one. Yes, it is. It's totally homemade. It's totally homemade. Now we've been joined here by Varushka. Yes. Now Varushka, I understand that you're a, a model. That's right. I'm the house model for our Drag Bag Emporium, the one-stop drag shop for glam vestites, transvestites, drag queens, and girls who want to look like boys to look like girls. <laughs> Did you rehearse that? No, not at all. Now let's talk about these, these outfits. Obviously you would have to design them specifically to fit certain parts of the anatomy. <laughs> now this is a, an oriental look. This is Muffin and her Susie Wong sleeve ball look. For something a little bit later, for those that don't want to reveal too much at sleeve ball. I'll go in something that, and a lot of people do, you know, not everyone's there in, in what we're wearing. Some people are there in jeans and t-shirts. Right, right. More is the general rule with yeah. most society, except for us, where more is more. More is more. Absolutely. More is never enough. Yeah. And are, you, will you be, are these the costumes that you're going to be wearing on Saturday night? At some time through this night. Well, a general rule for me is change. Well, you take, you take more, along more than one. Probably three. Three. Four changes. Four changes. Four changes. Yeah. You must go with a truck. <laughs> and here again is one of Maud Boat's fabulous works. She makes this all herself. This is Maud made this herself. Maud ma makes all her own costumes. As I said, she's one of Sydney's most famous drag queens, in particular for her costuming. A lot of her costuming inspired the movie Priscilla, as you could no doubt see. Yeah. She's been doing this long before the movie came along. So Priscilla has obviously helped a great deal in, in making it more acceptable. It did, it just didn't bring us... It, br it brought the drag scene out into the general public and made it more mainstream. Unfortunately, the, most of the people that made money from that movie wasn't us. No. <laughs> they, they got the lines from us, they got the looks from us, they got their inspiration from us. We're did, still in Oxford Street trying to break out into all of that. We didn't get an Oscar. Did they, did they get it right, do you think? Um, 
I think it's the closest I've ever seen to anything done on drag. I mean, compared to the American version that's coming out soon, where they've glamorised it, all the Australians, at least with Priscilla, showed drag queens close to true form. Right. All right, well, it's been terrific to meet you, and I hope you have a wonderful night on Saturday night. I'd we love to see you there. <laughs> well, unfortunately, uh, this Saturday night's not, not good for me, but maybe next time. Would you please thank Rika, Varushka, and our models? Thank you. Thank you. Stay there, stay there. Stay there.